Today I'm going to be hitting some shots for you with five different golf clubs with my Setup for Impact Golf Swing. If you're not familiar with my Setup for Impact Golf Swing, it's really the easiest way that you can improve your game quickly. And I do that by setting up on my impact plane. And I wanted to talk a little bit today and practice a little bit with different golf clubs and talk about the difference between each club. So I'm going to start with a gap wedge and then I'm going to hit some shots with an 8 iron, a 5 iron, 5 wood, and with a driver. Please, while you're here, do me a huge favor. Click the red subscribe button below. Click the bell to accept notifications and hit the thumbs up button. It really helps my channel a lot. I really appreciate it. Talking a little bit here when I'm getting set up and most of you have already seen my videos. If not, check out my channel here on YouTube and you get some basics on how to get set up for impact. I'm basically looking at getting into a good impact position here with the grip leading the hands through impact. So I'm going to find my distance from the ball based on that impact position. And with my practice swings, then I can see where the club's striking the ground, and I'll keep that same distance from the ball. I'm also setting up with my wrists uncocked. That's very similar to what Bryson DeChambeau does, as well as Mo Norman. Uh, Mo Norman stood very, low, very far from the ball, so I'm not copying Mo. Uh, because I don't like to have to drop down. And when I did that swing for many, many years and taught it, uh, most people lost quite a bit of distance, and I did myself. So I prefer to keep it level and make it easier to hit great golf shots right out the gate. So I'm going to get set up here. I'll make a couple practice swings here with the gap wedge and then just hit a couple. I haven't hit many today. It's a really hot humid day in South Florida and I'm just kind of getting warmed up here. It's a nice dead straight gap wedge shot. And I'm at the back of the range just because of the position of the sun so that's why the grass is kind of long here. I can hit some out of a bad lie also that's not an issue. I'm trying to get a nice flat spot here through impact, and I do that with every golf club, I'm really trying to get it going through like that. I do that through my setup, and then trying to get my body to the impact position after a great transition. A couple with the 8 iron. And some of you asked about the grips. I use the Jumbo Max Ultra Light and size small. It's still bigger than every jumbo on the market and they're really nice and light. I feel it fits my hands a little bit better. So here's the 8 iron. Again, I'm going to try to find my distance from the ball. I'm set up, wrists uncocked, club in line with my leading arm, hips bumped forward, and then I'm just trying to get it feel a good transition. I can see where the club strikes the ground. I'm trying to stay level here with my hips through the shot as well as my head. In the past, because of copying Mo, I stood so far away that I was dropping down eight inches. And it's really difficult to become consistent that way, obviously. And losing distance is no fun. So once I get set up the proper distance from the ball, Then it's just back and through. It's a beauty. And that's the eight iron. I can put one in the divot here. I don't know if you'll see the ball. Some people have commented that it's easy to hit off of a perfect lie, which is maybe true. But if you're coming in properly, it shouldn't be an issue to hit it out of here either. Dead straight, just like the last one. We'll grab the five iron. Easy to warm up today when it's 90 degrees with 90% humidity. So here's the five iron. So as the clubs are getting longer, my ball position is moving a little bit more forward in the stance. So I am trying to swing here also on a single plane, meaning I take the club back and through on the same plane. It doesn't have to be exactly on plane, but I want it to be close, especially here in this area from here to here. I want it to be 
on my setup plane. So that's why I don't set up with the hands low, which is a different plane, and then I'm above, and then I'm on a new plane at impact. I find it a lot easier to just set up on the plane I'm gonna be on at impact. So here's the five iron. Kind of go in the same direction here. I also stand a little wider. The ball is a little bit more forward in my stance. It's a good one. Dead straight. And the grass is kind of spongy here. This is not a good place to be, but it wouldn't work on the other side of the range just simply by the sun. I would look like a silhouette there. So with the longer clubs, I want to see making some practice swings. I'm going to be a little bit farther from the ball, obviously, but I want to get that same feeling of the hands leading through impact and the club just sweeping through. Can't hit them any better than that. Dead perfect. We hit a couple five woods. And these are, except for the wedge, these are all Callaway clubs. This is the model from a year or two ago. I think it's the Epic Flash. I really like them. I got them fit at Club Champion Golf, which to me, uh, I get asked a lot about clubs. If you need special clubs for this method, and honestly, the clubs have to fit your swing speed for the proper shaft, length, and lie angle. There's nothing specific to this swing. I stand the same distance from the ball. I need the same clubs that I needed 20 years ago when I played conventional golf, which for me is about three or four degrees upright. But what's going to decide the lie angle is your distance from the ball, how tall you are, and factors like that, swing speed and shaft as well. So I prefer Club Champion. It's fantastic. Uh, they find the best club to fit you regardless of brand and they use TrackMan to measure every shot uh, so that you can see which shaft club head combination works best for you. So I, I love what they do. Uh, if you do want to get a fitting, go to Club Champion, clubchampiongolf.com. If you put in my name as your referral, uh, you'll get the VIP treatment there. They'll also knock a few percent off the price. So with the five wood, ball's a little bit more forward, and I'm going to set up, same swing. It's gonna feel like I get, a, get go through impact, again, with the hands leading, even though the ball's a little bit forward. Dead perfect, can't hit it any better than that. I try to keep my trailing leg weight on the inside of the foot, keep some nice bend in the legs uh, so that I can explode through impact. Again, just trying to feel impact, setting up with the wrists uncocked here, get my distance from the ball. Another beauty. I'm gonna hit a couple drives for you. And I have to take it easy with the driver. There's some people at the end of the range I don't want to scare. So we're gonna hit a couple drivers. I'm gonna aim just a little bit more to the right. Just there's a person at the end of the range. Actually on the proper side, I'm in the wrong side, but because of the sun. So I'm gonna aim a little bit to the right here more than on the other videos. It's perfect. I'm gonna aim. Make sure my ball position's correct, distance from the ball. Here I stand the farthest away. Obviously, it's the longest golf club. And then it's just back and through. Dead straight. So the ball position may look more forward than it is just because I'm aiming a little bit more to the right than usual. Perfect. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Check out my website linked below. Uh, for a simple to follow program on how to improve your ball striking quickly. And again, please subscribe to my channel here on YouTube and like this video. Thank you very much and I hope you have a great day.